a playbook on life and how I can continue to fight back and when your back's against the wall. That's how Michael Orr addressed a crowd of dozens in Mount Washington, there to get a signed copy of his new book Monday. Well, I was a big fan of the Ravens, so he was on the team back when they won the second Super Bowl, so I just wanted to come out and see and get the book. I am a big, big, big fan of his. Like, I watched Blindside probably so many times, it's ridiculous. Um, and the fact that he's a Baltimore Ravian. Orr's life story soared to national attention when it was made into the Blindside movie. It chronicled his tough life as a foster kid before the Tui family took him in to help him achieve his football dreams. He exudes what it's like to fight in combat resiliency. There's always something that you can do to elevate humanity. But last week, Orr filed a petition in a Tennessee court alleging that the Tuies tricked him into signing papers, making them his conservators instead of adopting him as their child. The petition also claims the Tuies took all of the profit from the movie and Orr got nothing. Orr's lawyers say he didn't learn about the conservatorship until February, and now he wants it terminated and to get his fair share of the profits off his story. It's very unfortunate. Uh, you know, I think when I first heard it, I was I was shocked and, and, and deeply disappointed. Uh, you know, I think like most things, everybody's got opinions, whether they know the facts uh, or not. The Tui's lawyer denies the claims and points out or wrote in his 2011 book about the conservatorship, so his claims don't hold water. His supporters say they're watching how this all plays out. I have faith and I want to believe in him, and I'm praying for a great outcome, just like with the movie, just like with the Ravens, and now with his book. Orr released a statement to the national media about this situation, saying he is disheartened and asking for privacy. Reporting live at M&T Bank Stadium, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.